Sky News. Hi, I'm your news anchor, Peter Dixon. Recently, popular children's items have caused harm to many marine creatures. Today, we have Alistair Matthews interviewing a local citizen in New Shoreham, Rhode Island. Um, over to you, Alistair. Thanks, Peter. I'm joined by a local citizen of Rhode Island. How has this problem affected you? Well, I'm a local fisherman who runs a store here in New Shoreham, Rhode Island, and the balloons have been affecting my sales and catches. I'm so sorry to hear that. How do you think people could help? I think that people should start to use less balloons and to not release them. Then fishermen like me could fish for sales again. Wow, that's horrible. I'm so, how has it been like living in these conditions? I've had to tear down and sell my loft the tank in order to pay rent. I hope that people will begin to stop releasing balloons to prevent this. I agree. Now, back to you, Peter. Thanks, Alistair. This incident is truly terrible. Now, let's go to reporter Zachary Sibley reporting outside of NOAA Lab in New York City. Thanks, Peter. I'm here for marine biologist and two-time Nobel Prize winner, Zoya Lee, who works here at NOAA. Uh, hello, my name is Zoya Lee. I'm a marine biologist who works at the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, also known as NOAA. So, Ms. Lee, how do you think we could, um, how do you think this horrific item has affected our oceans? Well, when balloons are improperly disposed of, they often end up in the ocean. When ingested by animals, they can cause injury or even death. For example, a turtle could mistake a popped balloon floating in the ocean as a jellyfish eat it, choke on it, and could even die. That's very sad. What do you think we could do to help with this problem? Well, if people were to reduce their balloon usage at events like parties, because um, not too long ago I was passing a house that you could hardly even see because it was covered in pink and blue balloons. It was just a gender reveal party, and they could have just done something differently, like a cake, but instead they released about 15 pink balloons that were in a large box. They let them go and they started to float away towards the ocean. Covering that house was around 400, maybe 300 balloons. And based on them releasing the balloons to reveal the gender, they probably didn't properly dispose of the balloons. Well, I agree. Thanks for sharing your opinion with us. Now back to you, Peter. Thanks, Zachary. This whole problem has been truly terrible. But now to our next terrible story, Sweden and Finland's admission to um, NATO for fear of Russia. Uh, this, has been, this is Sky News, and I'm your news anchor, Peter Dixon, signing out.